Yo, what's good everyone? Zigzag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Today we are back to catch some cheaters. We're oh, going to be no. watching over previous games from competitive mode and deciding whether we think the suspect is cheating or not. Now, if you watched the episode I released just when this feature came out, you would know that I didn't do the best job of reviewing the cases. I was a little bit inaccurate with my decisions. Today, I'm going to do the best job I possibly can as a pro player. I should be able to get most of these right, I think. And I would say that the system definitely still needs some fixing because we can only see one round. So we're starting off here with someone playing no moving. I feel like it's very hard to convict someone on no moving or NMPZ on just one round without any extra information. But let's see what we think of this guess. If it ends up being like surprisingly close or whatever, no moving is the game mode. Zooms in here. It could be a Googling effort, of course. If there's information here, the suspect might Google, which could be the problem here. Uh, okay, Ben Carr. I wonder if that's some local politician. Probably not a name I've heard of before. Damir Stepanovic. So, I mean, it's always possible, right? that somehow the suspect lives near these politicians, knows them. It's also possible with the way that the suspect is just leaving the screen still that he's gone to make a Google session now. So that is what's, that's what's suspicious here. So then now zooming into Winnipeg. Okay, so I did not know that this was Winnipeg. I think watching, watching the round back, like there are plates, but the suspect never like zooms on the plates, right? And even still, it's hard to tell that they're Manitoba plates. Like I don't really think it, it is visible. Actually, particularly this one here is visible as a Manitoba plate. And we also have the uh, 204 area code, but I don't think that's what's happened. I think this is actually a case of Googling. And I would just say that it does not look like the type of zooming I would expect from someone who actually was good at no moving and deducted that it was Winnipeg from the clue. So I'm actually going to say guilty of Googling. I do think so. Not guilty of scripting. That is my opinion on this one. And I think he just Googled the name of the politician and uh, used it to make the guess. So that's my opinion there. I did say it's hard to convict someone just off a no moving guess, but the way the camera movement went there, I think actually was quite indicative of cheating. Okay, next one here. Moving game this time on Brazil. So there should be plenty of clues around in urban Brazil to get the exact right area with the phone codes and everything. Okay, let's see what goes on here. Turns around, sees this sign that says Seara, which is the name of this state. Guesses Fortaleza. Yeah, that was very much not guilty in my opinion. Just a very standard round. Felt like a big city, so going Fortaleza is only logical. And we had tons of palm trees, so it felt coastal. That one is not guilty in my opinion. Uh, you could say insufficient evidence, but uh, you know, it's just like a standard plonk in the capital city, in my opinion, not guilty. Okay, next one here. Is that the Basque flag? I think so. So that's immediately a huge clue. Look at the language as well, quite unique. Even if this was on NMPZ, getting the exact 5K within 10 seconds is possible here, but on moving, certainly so. So let's see what our suspect does here. We don't know the rank, so it could be the case that something happens here that's uh, not quite right. And so, yeah, we have a bunch of place names here and Mungia. Uh, oh, Bilbao. It says Bilbao. This is clearly not guilty. Absolutely. Um, we'd be very surprised if he was able to cheat in the time that was given there. So yeah, that's absolutely no problems in my opinion. I want to see a scripter again. We'll see what we got here. This is Nigeria. The follow car there. Immediately sees it. Looking legit so far. So it's no moving game. I like the way he's moving the camera. That seems kind of fairly normal to me. Divided road here going north-south. Okay, looks like they're just trying to line up the road here, which I think is pretty fine just kind of scanning for big divided roads that make sense I, I like what they're doing here looking south now even if they end up at the 5k which they don't that would have been fine but this one is clearly not guilty not even sure why this one's inside or why they got reported for this maybe it's a really low rank but uh yeah okay next one here let's see what we got and so double yellow lines, is this maybe Nova Scotia with the double yellow lines? It kind of looks like Canada to me, so let's see. This one's moving. Okay, so we might get something juicy here. Maybe some Googling action going down the road. This one, I feel like we've been fed a lot more legit cases than last time. On the way down the road, past the church here and doing some fast moving. I think that's what's happening here, actually fast moving. Too fast for my Australian internet, apparently. Oh, here we go. Okay, nice. It's a bit kind of glitching from how fast they're moving. So this is probably a higher ranked player if they know how to fast move. Could be a good inference to make, I would say. So I, they haven't really zoomed on anything too useful yet. It says maximum 70. So yeah, it is Canada. So yeah, I would say with the double yellow lines should be Nova Scotia here. It's a long round here. Okay, they're going to go for quite some time longer. One eternity later. Finally made it to a sign here. Middle West Sable. Little Harbour, West Sable Road, and Lewis Head. So, the fact that the map is not open is somewhat concerning to me now. This feels like a bit of a Google job, right? Unless they actually do have the map open. This is a bit odd, right? 
At that point, if you recognize any of these places, you're going into the map. And if you don't recognize any of those places, then surely you move on. But that to me definitely looks strange. So we'll keep an eye out for what happens to the rest of the round, but for now, they're just gonna keep moving. And okay, another sign here, Lockport and Sable River on the 103. Okay, the fact, okay, so the into Nova Scotia here, and there's the 103. Huh. Yeah, there's Sable River and Lockport. Why have they zoomed in down there? That's odd to me. Oh, the number three is over there and the 103. So that's kind of the intersection between the two. Should be closer to Lockport and Sable River though. If they're either direction of us, then we have to be over that direction. So, I mean, this looks like a legitimate pinpoint to me. Probably just someone who's a bit less experienced on moving. I could still say that the way they looked at the first sign was quite strange. And then they went for a very confident zoom after that. So I think on this one, I would have to say on on Googling insufficient evidence and on scripting, not guilty. I think that's what's, what makes sense here because there was strange behavior and you'd probably have to see another round to decide whether they're Googling or not. So that seems more fair to me. Hopefully I'm doing a better job this time. Let me know if there's any uh, decisions you agreed or disagreed with the uh, decision making on. Next one here, we got a Mexican pole, I believe that is there. A single yellow line, so that would make sense. And we are on moving as usual. Seems like most competitive cheating cases happening inside moving. Okay, let's have a look here. Um, what have we got? Is that, I think that is port, I think that's Spanish and I think we're in, in uh, Colombia here. So let's get down the road. Okay, blue roofed house, moving back towards this sign. Okay, that's why. I think it's just a billboard though, right? Okay, looks legit so far. Definitely the movement here reminds me of the last player, similar skill level, I'd say. We've got a phone number there, 316. I mean, it is indeed Colombia, I think. So not really sure what 316 means inside Colombia. Okay, they're paused on this sign for quite some time now. That is a little concerning, guys. Okay, so obviously this sign contains no useful information at all, unless Santura is a town, but they don't even have the map open. So this looks like a Googling case to me because there's no reason on a poster to, to stay zoomed in, especially without the map open. So unless there's a glitch or something, then I would say this looks very guilty. I would say that they were Googling even if they don't find it here. It still looks like Googling to me. So let's just see how the round ends up. Can you sign over here? Not quite legible. They're gonna move on. Okay, fast moving now down the road and we have place names, uh-oh. Okay, so does, we gotta ask ourselves, does our player know where Darien is? I would uh, highly doubt it, to be honest. I have a sneaking suspicion that in a few moments they will know and uh, 5k it. So let's see about that. So let's see here. Zooming in, it's gonna be a very precise zoom, I feel. And oh, what do you know? They they knew where it is. There's Daddy in. <laughs> There's for the 5k, so clearly cheating here. Uh, but just Googling. Um, so we're gonna say guilty for Googling and we're gonna say not guilty. For scripting. Well, that was kind of a boring case. It was the good old like walk for a long time until you see a sign and then Google it. It would be good if you could set a preference to no moving or something. Next one here, hard lad with the bum bag and the uh, Armani is it? I forget which brand the EA7 is, but let's get into this round. Looks like Spain to me, I would say. Should be Spain, I think. I could be wrong about that. Let's find out when our uh, suspect goes and moves around a little bit. So I like the way that the suspect just gave it a full 360 at the start here. That's good. We got some Spanish here. Okay, I don't think we had a town name on there, but the suspect was on it for quite a long time and teleports. How has he teleported here? I don't quite understand that. And he's just staring into the distance. What is going on here? And now finally moves again, zooming in. Surely not to the exact place, right? What is this, man? Wait, this actually might be scripting because, hmm. This actually might be a scripting job. This one's easily the most confusing round. Definitely cheating in some way. I would say. How? Okay, let's watch this back because it could just be a, a like a demo error here. So, takes the 360, goes down the road, zooms on this. So the town we're in is La Linea, Linea de la Concepcion. And it does say that, okay. But you would expect if someone knew that, they would go straight into the map, right? Instead, we get a weird move here. So it looks away resets but doesn't reset to the start unless we're not seeing the whole round here why does wh what is this like jump i don't understand what's going on there and then stand still i guess so it looks less suspicious so what they've done is put it in google jumped away it still requires some geoguessa knowledge to know that the place name is La Linea de la Concepcion because that is like not a very simple and straightforward place name right and then they 5k Interesting. So at this point, I'm actually not sure if it was Googling or scripting. I would have to say Googling, 
but I don't know how they'd made that jump. I actually do not know. That doesn't make sense to me. So I guess I would say guilty of Googling or maybe insufficient evidence on both. Or I could say insufficient evidence on scripting and guilty on Googling. I feel like it could actually be either one. I could say guilty of both, but obviously they didn't do both at once. So yeah, I guess I would just put insufficient on both here. I feel like it's uh, definitely a cheating of some kind, but I just don't know which. But I think I have to do that, guys. It was probably, it was more likely to be Googling, but the weird movement makes it so I'm not sure. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to submit that. Okay, let's do one more. Let's get one more cheater. Let's get one more cheater. And so we have a uh, Russian Orthodox Church here. Looks like Russia to me. And why do they have the map open? I don't understand what's going on with that. But okay, let's go here. So do we have any area codes or anything like that? Looks like it should be Ukraine, right? Okay, we have uh, Ulitsa. So that's the name of the street, which I think is the Ukrainian spelling, right? Let's see the rest of the language here. No, I guess it's Russian language. I can't actually tell. I might, well, you can still see Russian in Ukraine as well, so. Okay, so clearly someone who can speak Cyrillic here or read Cyrillic, if we're already getting a Zoom. This is confusing. Okay, what are they gonna do here? Wait, Nizhny? And it ends up being near Nizhny. Okay, so I've actually got to use my noggin here a little bit to work out how this happened. And at this point, it'd be great to know where the person was from. But I think what happened here is they are able to read Cyrillic and read the address and probably postcode here as well, I guess, and either knew it or Googled it. And it's just someone with Cyrillic skills. So here's the town name. It was Arzam Arzamas. Never heard of that city. Does it actually say it here? That's what I want to know now. I don't think it actually says it. No, it doesn't. So I would say at this point, not really sure how this happened or whatever. I'm going to look one more time when they go over to the signs here. So Arzamas, not there, that's for sure. Not there, that's just like a telco ad, completely relevant, I would say. And over here, yeah, not sure. So I'm just going to have to say insufficient evidence. Probably Google Googling, not scripting, I would say. Um, but not 100%, so I'm not going to submit guilty here. Let's move on to the next case. And we immediately in no move. Excellent. Let's see if we get... A suspicious guess here on India. Okay, like on the Canada one, yes, we saw clear Googling. Unless there's a huge billboard behind us, which it looks like it's pretty rural in India here, so probably not. Then I doubt this is gonna be a guilty verdict, but let's have a look. Okay, we do actually have a lot of writing and that's an instant zoom, okay. And, oh yeah, definitely legit there, definitely legit. Just a good player who's turned around, seen the landscape and gone straight for the guess. Definitely a quick guess. Um, and then they're not even in the correct state. So, you know, I think that was uh, clearly not guilty on both accounts. Let's go to the next one here. We are back in moving as usual. We're next to a Whole Foods. Looks like the United States of America to me, but it could be Canada. So let's just get into it here and, and find out which one our suspect is thinking. Will they even look around? NMPZ knows the city. Wow, the, the marker down immediately. I like that. In Indianapolis, maybe. With a lack of front plates, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Taking some time to consider here. I mean, it looks like a very distinctive building in the distance there, right? So probably just an American who's been to Indianapolis, I would imagine here. Considers it, but never even looked around, by the way. So that's fascinating. And, and, and zoomed all the way out. Very odd right on the 5k there. What could we say here? I think it's someone who's been to Indianapolis before or scripter, but I think it's more likely just someone who's been there. The thing is, why didn't they guess? And why did they just stay looking at the map and not even turn around if they weren't sure about Indianapolis? Very strange behavior. Maybe they were just talking with a friend next to them. Like it, it's very hard to tell just from one round's context what's actually going on. I'm gonna say uh, not guilty of Googling and insufficient evidence of scripting, although I suspect they're actually not guilty. But uh, yeah, that's kind of too hard to say in my opinion. Okay, no cheater yet, no definite cheater anyway. So let's get to our next one here down in Southern Argentina. Or maybe Maybe a bit further north than I think actually. Well, right next to the water here, I think this is like, if I was going like back to Google here, I think this is gonna be like around this direction here near Comodoro. Let's see here. Okay, NRSA. Maybe Googleable. Eh, the suspect looked at it for a little bit, maybe a little bit too long, but I wouldn't say, okay. So could they be Googling on their phone while they just like whip around the camera randomly? Because this is very weird movement gameplay. And going Uruguay mm. and goes Buenos Aires. Okay, this actually could be a Googling effort, you know? And it was around here, like I said, but this actually could be a Googling effort. I feel like what happened here, they zoom into the company name, they get out their phone, for Googling or something. And E-A-E-N-A-R-S-A. -E -E now, when they view the results, they're kind of just whipping around the camera randomly. <laughs> and then they discover it's a uh, Argentinian company. And they know that, that now. Now they're actually just looking around properly. 
and they go in Buenos Aires. Do you guys agree? I would say that is difficult to give a beyond reasonable doubt of cheating here. At the end of the day, it's just an easy Argentina, but the behavior after seeing that is so strange. I gotta watch the start of this again. Let's see, because I kind of got distracted with my region guess, but let's see actually, like it doesn't feel like a good player. The way, the, what they're zooming into while they go along here is not very wise, I would say. Not very good decision making. They come over here and they look at this sign as well, right? Turns around, looks at the sign, clearly just a traffic sign. So not, and then this, yeah, I would say so. I'm almost tempted to say beyond a reasonable doubt that this person is cheating because they seem very clueless apart from that, you know? Looks around, does this random, you know what it could be? It might just be them going for the region guests, just checking out all the different stuff around them and they're just on a trackpad or something so that the movement looks really weird. I still think they're cheating, but I'm gonna say for Googling insufficient evidence and for scripting, not guilty. That's my opinion here. Um, Probably guilty on this time, but insufficient has to be the verdict. All right, I think I'm gonna end it there. Let me know if you guys really enjoyed this one. It was fun to film again. And yeah, thank you all for watching. If you want more of this series, then I'll definitely do that. And hopefully they introduce it where we can see two rounds instead of one, because I think that would be a good change just for getting a sense of the person's gameplay. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time and goodbye.